A very unfortunate series of events has happened along with a fortunate series of events. <laughs> We've been filming for like the past four days and I may have accidentally accidentally deleted all of the footage from those four days. So that puts us here on the timeline of more skids. We have a new car that Jeff bought. <laughs> Yes, apparently it's locally well known. If you know anything about the car, this will jog your memory. But we also bought another car in the same day, which was like crazy, a crazy video. Like we picked up two 240s in the same day. Believe it or not, this one got fucked as we were picking it up. The dude really hooked us up, but you know, unfortunately when we were pushing it onto the trailer that he did let us borrow, so thank you for that, uh, he decided to use, what was that, a Roadmaster? <laughs> Basically tried to push the car onto the trailer. Right after, say, I, I told him, you know, just, just be gentle and go slow. His car slips or this car slips underneath and just absolutely smashes. Uh, but me and Jeff have done some hammering and kicking and shit and all of the tail lights match up and everything, so. But the main thing here is we got a very, very clean 89 S13 hatch for a great deal. And here it is. Obviously we've done some some work to it already, but it's a- uh, I'll let you give the full review. Yeah. Fired up for a single cam already. It has no diff, it has no transmission, it has no motor, but it has literally everything else. So check it out. It's got like no, there's no damage on the whole car except for that one rear quarter. Which we'll get to but like i said it's wired up for a single cam so all we have to do is get a single cam and drop it in the thing about this car and why it's so fucking sick is because the interior is primo on the camera that passenger seat looks fucking mint i mean in person it looks mint too the dash is cracked but i'm gonna do something about that oh it's dark um, you can't see how clean that headliner is yeah the headliner is perfect the carpet is really good the rear seats are perfect virtually untouched like all the interior pieces pretty much are there. Everything in the trunk, like check out these side interior pieces are all there. These things. Yeah, those things, that's crazy. Crazy how clean this car is. Body's fairly straight on this side. Yeah, body's super straight on this side. The paint is ass. Uh, it's got a sunroof, which I'm happy about actually. And yeah, look at this thing. That's rough to look we'll at. Move on to this. I mean, me and Jeff, or mostly Jeff yesterday pulled this thing apart. Uh, we moved basically everything from the front end over to that car because we have so many good pieces uh, from all of our sponsors and shit. Front end of that thing is looking good right now and it's gonna be good. Today we're working on the rear end. There's gonna be a different video, but now it's all gonna be one video because I fucked up the footage. And then a lot of the stuff from this car is gonna go to Jeff's car. Oh yeah, thank and you. And we're gonna get two Pretty decent. decent. Well, yours is going to be freaking Mine's immaculate. Be clean. And this is going to be decent. I'm just bringing a car back to life. But yeah, this one, you kind of realized yeah. that it wasn't really working out <laughs> <laughs> with the amount of money we have to work with and uh, our resourcefulness. It would just made so much more sense to buy that chassis and uh, to switch everything over. So I would say, and, and just pure motivation too. Starting from this platform, there was. Again, it's just like a lot to tackle. Although there is a lot of sentimental values with this shell. It's shit like this, that like the car was never gonna be good, right? And I'm yeah. never, I was never gonna have a clean 240 and I never really feel like 100% good about the car that I owned. But with that car, it's gonna like, I mean, it's, it's a, basically as clean as this car was when I bought it. Yeah, and this so, car was freaking clean. Yeah, it was the right choice. I understand that people are kind of upset about this one getting stripped again and <laughs> becoming like the trashiest shell on the planet. I had a good idea, I think so. And throw down in the comments if you if you think Quentin should do a time lapse from start to finish of this nostalgic S13. Built up, destroyed, built up a little bit, stripped. We got the rear suspension in, all the GK Tech arms and the max speeding rod coilovers. We're about to drop it down and see where we sit. Dude. I don't know, you might still need to cut that. Yeah, you're gonna need to cut it. <laughs> or roll it. Yeah, you're hitting tire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, I think there is cutting in the future, Ooh, but. but look at that though. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. This is, this is theoretically the Morse Kids garage yeah. in this little shed right here. It really is. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Well, since I gave up on what I was doing, I'll film. This thing was recording the whole time. You got a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> Filming your fucking Morse kid's door. All right, update us. What are you doing right now? Well, I'm getting this. <laughs> Use the magnet. Well, the normal way to do this, I think, is to take the fender liner out, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, because mine's up there and so is Quentin's. Shit! There it is. <laughs> no! <laughs> All these bolts are, like... Seized. Fucking in there, dude. They come like he loves the 240. <laughs> Give it a nice big hug. <laughs> That's the same one that was giving you an issue last time. Oh, these are two different. Dude, use the impact, because that's what fixed it the, the last time. Oh, because the tank's right there. You got it. Josh is now backyard mechanic certified. Yep. <laughs> I was just, I zoomed in on your hand. <laughs> it was blurry, but it was like just vibrating. Sometimes I look through this camera and think it's like better quality than real life. <laughs> Your left eye's good though? Dude, wear a fucking one-eyed spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever worked on a car in hotter weather. Except for the day that I was pulling the fucking subframe out of that white car. Uh, Char dude, Charles that's is- where the, That's where this subframe come from. No, we didn't swap gas, gas tanks. We, you didn't swap gas tanks. No, I pulled it out of the white car though. I mean, we may be taking parts from this one, but we're not giving up on her. We'll get her running right after these two. Yeah, right after. Right after. Hey, the car's almost the same color as the Forester. Yeah, I was thinking that. Matchy, right, matchy. This, hopefully it doesn't land on the fenders. But if it does, we're cutting them anyways. Why does this side, this side looks lower even without yeah. tension. Well, we'll find out. This, this definitely might be lower. Oh, you're good. Oh, no, it's the same. Hell, dude, <laughs> dude. Okay, now we know for sure you're cutting. <laughs> I knew it was gonna okay, lower. It's good that we can push it around like this. Yeah. Without having to cut it yet. Dude, look at the stance on that. It's starting to look real modified. <laughs> you some kind of boy racer? <laughs> Damn, bro. Holy shit balls. Damn, your rears are lower than your front. Oh, well, until you get an engine. All righty, we got a lot done on the 240 today. It's uh, getting dark out. We've just been sitting here admiring the car, like how good it looks for the last hour and a half. <laughs> we got the front suspension Max Peters in. We got the rear suspension Max Peters in. We got the front fenders all pretty much permanently mocked up. In the next coming days, we need to cut the rear quarters because as you can see, this ain't going to work. <laughs> Like when I sit inside and uh, put a motor in it, it's just gonna rub, so. Yeah, it's fucking low, dude. I mean, it would have been nice to not have to cut the fenders, but I planned on cutting the fenders anyways. It looks a lot like when I got the the kit on my other car, like when I first- That one. Out. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for deleting all the other footage of everything that me and Jeff did in the past week, which was a fuck ton of shit. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's still a ton of stuff to do, so a lot of videos coming. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. What's that outro music? <laughs> I miss that yeah, too. So